back to the Fixed Ops Roundtable, and we're really excited about this panel that's coming up. And uh, we want to welcome Dan Drews from Auto Remote Direct. Uh, this is going to be the innovative and overlooked profit panel. And uh, Dan, we're excited to have you back, and we're equally excited to have the moderator of this panel, which is Ed, none other than Ed Roberts, the Fixed Ops Director at Bozard Ford Lincoln, St. Augustine, Florida. So Ed, I'm going to go ahead and turn the show over to you. Thank you, Ted. I also want to thank Gene and uh, welcome everyone. The uh, as as Ted mentioned there, this is uh, some profit that we've overlooked for quite some time. And uh, when I was talking to to Dan, he kind of told me that uh, he has some opportunities. This goes back a little over a year ago, and uh, the uh, he was he was spot on. Well, let me introduce my panel that I have here today, and uh, hopefully we can help you guys with uh, finding some uh, some newfound profit. Got Dan Drews. With ARD, I have, and hopefully I can get the name right here, I have Gary Rosen Treader with Ziegler Automotive Group. And then I think everybody knows the familiar face of Mike Vogel, the fixed ops coach. The uh, So Dan, if I can get you to, uh, to come on board there. The uh, couple things that I wanted to talk to you about is, is some opportunities um, how does how does ARD bring opportunity to the dealership uh, when it comes to preventing from outsourcing keys and that type of thing? Thanks, Ed. Thanks for having us, guys. So we, we like to think of ourselves as the, uh, the the one stop key fob shop, and you know the total solution for for dealerships uh, and their uh, key fob blues per, per, per se. And uh, we're, we're able to uh, get anybody going with their uh, their in house key fobs and you guys are going to be able to cut and program keys, fobs, and smart keys for 95% of the, the vehicles on the road. Um, we've got you know a few different levels of uh, OEM keys, refurbished keys, and our ARD house brand that, that are that all carry the same manufacturers' guarantees and warranties that you guys get from the factories, uh, all on our dynamic website with with over 6,000 SKUs. Uh, and, and not to forget our, our two mobile apps that we, that we do offer, one for training and one for ordering and, and operating on a, on a daily basis. You said you got a house brand. Does a house brand look um, like the factory one? Yes, sir. So it's, it is it is OEM lookalike and programs just, just the same as, as an OEM remote. Uh, and also, if it, if it is your brand, if, if need be, you can use your own OEM tools to, to program them. Do you have tools to program the uh, the non branded stuff that a, a dealer may be programming? Yes, sir. That's that's kind of what got us uh, into the dealership realm. We, we saw that need for first of all training because there was little to no training. Gary and I can can attest to that uh, together uh, on that one, and just the, the pricing. So we we offer both tools: uh, the Smartbox Automotive Programmer, which programs ninety five percent of the vehicles on the road. And the uh, Condor Mini Plus. So together, they are the uh, they're the most capable tool out there. They're the least expensive, but more importantly, it's the easiest to use and the easiest to train on. Uh, so you're able to duplicate keys uh, as well as uh, cut by code. Ed. So we can cut as well as as well as program with them. For sure, for sure. Ninety five percent of the vehicles in the road. Perfect. The uh, I'm gonna shift gears here for a minute and uh, and and ask Mike a couple questions. Um, Mike, you're, you've kind of been known for quite some time as being the coach and kind of guide people through help keeping expenses in check and, 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 and raising the value of uh, perceived value from a customer standpoint. Um, but tell us, why is it important to uh, keep customers in house and rather than send them down to uh, have a key cut somewhere or have them come back when the key guy's here? Um, tell us about uh, keeping them in house. Thanks, Ed. Um, well, my, my key items, as most of you that have watched previous roundtables and, and other discussions, I'm all about trust, value, and convenience. So I think, you know, at, from the dealership level, if you're selling a car, whether it's a new car or a used car, and you need an extra set of keys or an extra remote, if the customer is going to be inconvenienced by having to come back for that uh, or the car being sold with not enough keys, not enough remotes, that, that's a negative in my opinion. Second part of that is um, it's not very convenient if you're going to send them out to a locksmith, whether it's a, a sales customer or a service customer. Um, 
why would you want to hand off a customer that's already yours to somebody else and trusting them that they're going to make that customer happy? Um, and the flip side is if they don't make them happy, have you lost that customer now? Kind of look, look at it the same way as tires. Do, do you want to send your customer down to Firestone or Goodyear or Pep Boys, any of those places for tires? Not in, the, not in this day and age. Um, so it ticks all three boxes, in my opinion. Trust, obviously, we're the dealer. Um, we sold the car. We're the, we represent the manufacturer. We should be the experts on this, and we should be able to do it. Um, value is um, we're not more expensive than going down to the locksmith and having it done. And then convenience is in itself. They're already at your dealership. Why are you going to send them off somewhere else? Exactly. And, and we typically lose heat in house as well. So sometimes it's not necessarily just what, uh, what we need to replenish from a trade in or whatever else we lose keys, uh, whether Absolutely. they didn't bring both keys when they traded it or, and they just don't marriage back up again. Um, I think about every dealer out there has a box of keys that didn't get paired back up with the vehicle that was traded in. So it's, it's, it's a huge opportunity to let it, to have that vehicle ready to go with two keys rather than have to bring them back for something that we owe them. Absolutely. It sets a really good perception of the dealership, very professional um, and uh, trusting. And it kind of goes back to what Telly always tells us. What is that, Mike? That is repeat and referral customers. That's what we're all about. If we're not focused on that, we're missing the boat. If we don't make it convenient, they're not going to re they're not going to be repeat customers and they're not going to be referring people to us. And, and it goes with the other things as well. If we're not building value or trust, both of those things tie in as well. Absolutely. Uh, and we'll shift gears to Gary for a minute. And Gary, I got to ask, did I get your last name right? It was, it was close. Rosenberg. Rosenberg. All right. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> yes. That's a long one. Um, when, when, when Dan and I was talking, he told me that uh, you're a customer of his as well. Uh, it's, it's kind of a two-part question. Um, I'm going to start off uh, the long story. Uh, about two years ago, we needed a key machine, and Dan can tell you the horror stories about the, you know, the dinosaur in the back room that takes 10 minutes to cut one key. So along came Dan, you know, and uh, hooked us up with this brand new nice Condor Mini, and um, you know that, like I said, about two years ago, and the bonus smart box, which I didn't really know what was going on at the time. And then uh, you know, I'm going to go to the second part, the, the success of using the the system. Um, probably about maybe a couple months ago, finally really started rolling out um, a successful process using uh, the key cutting and uh, programmer. So it sounds like you guys have been using it twice as long as we have. We've been on it for a little over a year. Um, I've had the programmer, I guess, for, I don't know, four or five months now that we've moved to our mobile trucks, and we'll talk about that in a few minutes. But uh, the uh, huge opportunity to, to keep the key vendors at other dealers' lots rather than ours. Um, what kind of success stories do you have since you've been on this program? Oh, well, um, our company does a, a similar panel uh, a couple times a year uh, for the general managers and, you know, all the rooftops we get on a Zoom meeting. Um, and one of the uh, uh, things that uh, the parts managers are requested to do is bring an idea that all the dealerships could incorporate, um, uh, specifically parts department. So I, I presented the idea of cutting and programming second keys for all makes and models. And uh, literally my fixed ops director looked at me and said, that is amazing, amazing idea. Why aren't we doing this already? You know, and uh, how come our other dealerships aren't doing it? So uh, with having the best idea, of course, <laughs> thanks to Dan, um, uh, I got a award at a hundred bucks. There you go. And, and a little bit of recognition. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Who are you cutting cut keys for primarily? Uh, primarily, our process is uh, geared towards our used car, non-branded uh, vehicles. So, uh, car comes in. If it doesn't have a second key, it's getting one. When you say non-branded, what what uh, what brands do you guys? What's your primary brand? What's primary your brand? brands Infinity, Infinity. So yeah, basically, we don't want to take away from our service department with this process because uh, with uh, the process we developed with the the Condor and the Smart Box it's staying in the parts department. Do you find that this covers most makes and models that you guys run through the used car department? Absolutely. Yeah, I go through, I hunt the, we use a multi-point inspection auto point system. I hunt through to see all the used cars 
and then I'll, I'll check the ARD website and see which ones I can cut and program, and then I shoot over the quote. Who cuts and, program, who cuts and programs them for you in the house? As of right now, our process is it stays in the parts department. Um, when it gets a little too overwhelming, which it's getting there because the, the demand is there, uh, then we can kind of put it out to maybe get a, a, one of the hourly tax or uh, even a porter. I mean, as Dan was saying, uh, so little training, so easy. The uh, We have a large fleet department. Most of those um, municipalities likes to have multiple keys, not just the two that the vehicle come with. So we'll, we'll send vehicles out of here, brand new vehicles out of here with five keys because that's what they're requesting. So it makes it much easier and, and keeps the cost in control there with doing that. We're, we're always looking to control expense, um, but not only, Mike, maybe this is for you. This isn't just control and expense, but it's, a, it's an opportunity to generate some growth in addition to it. So it's an opportunity to control cost and generate some, some growth. It's not too many times that we get those kind of opportunities, is it? No, and, and, and I think, you know, you, you need to look at um, keys and remotes in the same boat as tires, as, as in the same boat as accessories. Okay, they're not going to be high gross items. However, some gross is better than no gross at the end of the month. The other thing to consider is, um, you know, going back early in my career, we didn't have anything, any companies like ARD around that we had the opportunity to cut keys uh, for every make and model and remotes. And so subsequently, we sublet a lot of work to outside uh, locksmiths. So what you're doing is you're taking the owner's money, basically sending it outside, spending it with an outside vendor, which, which sometimes is necessary, but if you can avoid it, why wouldn't you? And um, so at, at the end of the day, um, you're tra if you keep it in-house, you're transferring the money from one pocket to, the, to another. And I don't know any dealer principal or general, man general manager that would not be <laughs> extremely excited about that as opposed to cutting a check every month. So um, don't go, don't approach this as, you know, charging your door rate for cutting keys and programming remotes and, and things of that nature. Look at it as an opportunity to bring a little bit of gross in or, or even a, a decent amount of gross. Maybe not what, what you're used to in gross percentages, but uh, again, you know, using accessories, for example, I worked for a dealership years ago where the owner just said, look, this is going to be the labor rate for accessories, and this is what parts gross is going to be on the uh, accessory parts. And we killed it. He would give us literally 25, 30 cars at a time, accessorize the hell out of them, and we, we were hugely successful. Customers loved it because the, the accessory was priced right, and we made gross that we probably would have never had because we were priced too high. So, yeah, you know, that, that's, that's the way you need to look at it. Trust, value, convenience. Price it accordingly. Don't price yourself out of the market. If you price it right and you keep it convenient, it builds trust. The uh, uh, Gary, you said that you guys are, are doing it mostly in, in parts where you're cutting the key. Who's programming them? Are you, is parts programming them as well or is tech programming them? That's right, yeah. Myself and uh, one of my countermen is trained. So, I mean, it's, it's so easy. It doesn't take us much time. I mean, yeah, we do need coverage in the parts department, so we'll – you know, pretty much work like a mini service department in that, that aspect and put some time aside to get it done. So if parts is programmed, that gives additional opportunity to expand that, that margin that you make on the parts side of that because you're not yeah. having to pay out in labor. Not just that. I mean, we once we touch the car, you know, then we can kind of look in, hey, it doesn't have wheel locks. Let's put wheel locks on it. Let's, you know, then we can accessorize it. You know, it's, it's a great opportunity just to put the hands on and see what else we can uh, we can do to you know, raise the value of the vehicle. Having some opportunity to talk about it and find those points, especially the customer standing there, yeah. an opportunity to build some value there as well. Absolutely. We incorporated it in on our mobile trucks and it's allowed us to, to pick up another element of roadside service. I'm not, in, I'm not in the mobile service business to be on roadside, but it is tough to send that call roadside for anybody, whether it's for a flat tire, out of gas, keys locked out, and we can add those elements to it. That just enhances what we do. Um, but not only that, if I don't have that key blank in the house when I sell a used vehicle and they need a third key or, or whatever the situation may be, I can order it from Dan. And, and when I get it in, I can send my mobile truck out to them, whether it's their place of business or their home, um, program that key on site. And we don't, we never create 
the inconvenience factor for the customer and we're fulfilling what we told them that we was going to give them to begin with. So build on that trust as well and then making it convenient for them. Dan, I'm going to circle back to you here. Yes, sir. And then we can kind of have some conversation and, and, and go from there. But it yeah. sounds like you're making an impact on the industry. We, we'd like to think we are. Uh, it, it, it certainly sounds like you are. You, you have with us. Sounds like you have with Gary. Uh, Mike's buying right into it. Tell us about if somebody wanted to to sign up and, and, and get the ball rolling. What do you do for training? Um, we got, I, I still do it with my technicians. Gary's doing it with his counter guys, which I think is brilliant because it gives a little more gross opportunity there. Um, but tell us what you do for training, ongoing support. Uh, and you talked about all three of your keys carry the same kind of warranty. I don't know if I'm throwing three things at you at once, but kind of tell us about that a little bit. Sure. Well, the most the most important part of this is the training. And, uh, you know, starting in parts, when I was much younger, that was like when the Volkswagen laser, the laser cut stuff came out and everybody kind of freaked out. And Gary remembers this. It was an absolute nightmare. Um, so, and especially when I went to onboard him with our, with our tools, you guys have heard this story of me talking about this cracking in the back room. That was Gary's machine. It looked like something out of Empire Strikes Back. I mean, it was, it was ridiculous. Nobody knew how to use it. It was just a nightmare. Um, so we think that's very important you know, that they know how to use the key. And and they're not afraid to use the, the key cutting machine like, like it has in the past. And it's not you know, an arm and a leg uh, against uh, your dealership every month to pay for this thing. You know, never ending leases. Um, training. You know, in, in the Chicagoland, obviously, we, we've gone out and we've, we've trained them in person like I, like I had with Gary uh, a couple times. And what, what we've done now is we've perfected our, uh, our in-house studio training. It's live. It's, it's necessary to, to be able to, you know, scale this across the country uh, to all the dealerships that do want this. So we've, we've kind of perfected it. We've, we've, we've done this with about 300 to 350 dealerships over the, over the last few years. You know, we, we always... Uh, we always get them on the on the in-house studio training. It's about 45 to 50 minutes long. They can ask questions as we go. So there's a there's a live Q and A, and really the the tools kind of speak for themselves with the with the simplicity. It's I think it's just done by you know year make and model and you know push this button, turn on the emergency lights, and, and really within two to three minutes you're you're done on on most of the vehicles. Um, Ed to to kind of uh, talk about the, the warranties and guarantees. Uh, I, it's been brought to me, you know, several times with the warranties those two years from the manufacturers, and we just go ahead and, and put that on all of our products, you know, from the new OE, which, which, you know, a, a lot of Ford and Lincoln dealers are getting from us with our, our distributorships that we have to offer that refurbished OEM carries the same two-year warranty and our, and our house brand, and really we, we've we've only seen maybe one percent in, in rmas across the board with our tools miss cuts were always a, a big problem in the in the past and, and, and gary how many how many miss cuts have you had with that machine? Not, not too many uh zero i don't think, yeah i don't think we've had an issue at all to be honest with you zero uh and, and then the upkeep the maintenance and updates all of our tools come with free updates for life and that's and that's huge because a lot of these companies out there are like oh I want two to three thousand dollars a year, uh, and then go and try to change a, a cutting wheel or a cutting bit on it. Sometimes it's a hundred, sometimes as much as three hundred dollars, and ours are between twenty and twenty five for that, and they still cut the same amount of keys that the other stuff does. So we've just we've tried to stop that bleeding in in the uh, in the dealerships, and. Some of the biggest obstacles have been the used car managers. Like, well, my guy's cheaper. Not anymore. You guys won't be charging any more than that van that pulls up. Probably purchases it, purchases it from somebody else like us in, in, the, in the long run. And so they're, they're happy. They're not paying any, any more money than they would with from that guy in the truck. And they get it that day or, or, or the next. And you guys keep it all in house at, at roughly a, a 50 to 60% margin. I won't talk about what those margins are in just a minute, but you talked about the free updates and, and the machine and whatever. It sounds like you're truly in the key business and you you just want you to pick up the accessory to help keep that moving. You you keep that updated with the updated models that comes out and whatever else so that we can continue to sell keys. For, so, for sure. You know, our, our like I said, our, our tools are the least expensive out there, but they are the most capable and easy to use. And that, that was important to be able to arm the dealerships with that kind of program to support it. 
and yes, you know, so across the, the 6,000 plus SKUs that we have, we can, we can cover pretty much every make and model, not Mercedes, not that you ever really want to do that in house because it's, it's very complicated, but the, just to plug in the OBD and, and, and follow the steps is, is the meat and potatoes of this, of this program. So the, uh, you talk about training, but let's say there's been some turnover. Somebody's left, went to another dealer, whatever else, we bring somebody new in. What do we got to do to get retrained on the, the well, there's, there's one of two things, if not both, we, we, there's always retraining available. So if you do have that turnover, if somebody needs, you know, a refresher, they can always just log on to the training app, pick a, pick a day and time they want to jump on and, and they're more than welcome to do that whenever they want. We also offer one-on-one -on -one with, with our tech support once in a while. If somebody just needs a little bit of honing on something, you know, that might be holding them back, we're, we're more than happy to do that with our, with our tech support team, which by the way is open six days a week uh, and open till, uh, open till the evening. So if they run into a problem programming a key, can't get over the obstacles, they can call in and somebody can walk them through that. For sure. For sure. So you, you, with the two year warranty, talk about, and, and, and I haven't had an issue with any of your keys. Uh, sounds like Gary hasn't either, but things happen. Let's say that there is an issue. How do we file a claim to get that handled with you? So we have an automatic RMA system hooked right into our website. So whatever, whatever is easiest for them, if they want to email us or call us and say, Hey, could you put through this exchange or return? We're happy to do that. Uh, or they can do it themselves. But every time we, we, we put that through, we, we back up our, our products 100%. We're never going to stick you with something that isn't going to work or isn't, isn't the right key or miscarpet. It's not a $100 issue anymore. And as we process that RMA through, you even get a prepaid label, whether it's your fault or not, just to send that back to us. And, and nine times out of 10, it's just an exchange. So we're, we're getting out that, that correct product or the, or the right or the right product. Um, that in there. So we had a key vendor that was coming on site and I want to talk about that because what I mentioned to Mike earlier, it's not very often that you can reduce expense and increase gross with the same transaction. It just doesn't happen very often. And, and this certainly did it for us. And we're not anything different than any other dealer out there. I don't think uh, we sell about 600 to 650 new and used cars a, a month and our average key bill on non Ford, because we would still take care of all our Fords and all of our Lincolns in house our average key bill uh, with our key vendor was eight to 10 grand a month. The used car department today, after bringing ARD in and going full war with them with the programmer and the key cutter and, and having their blanks as well, the used car department spends now between 4,500 and $5,000. So we've cut their expense in half. They still have an expense. They still got to replace those keys, but we've cut that expense in half. And from what I'm charging them in parts and service, that, that 4,500 to 5K, that's $3,000 worth of gross. So it's three grand worth of gross that I didn't have, $5,000 expense reduction to the used car department, mostly to the used car department. There is some new car stuff. We lose keys, sell them, take them home, whatever that situation may be. At the end of the day, you take my gross and put it back in that expense because of the dealer, that's where he looks is where's that at the bottom line. We've taken a $10,000 expense and made it somewhere between 1,500 to $2,000. Uh, that's huge in, in today's world. And and maybe the, the, some of the dealers that's out there listing, they're not selling 600 cars a month, they're selling 300 cars a month, and their average key cost is five grand, half of that. Um, certainly reducing that by 80% is, is a huge, huge, huge savings. And we're keeping technicians busy. We're keeping the counter guys going. And the easiest way to keep guys happy is to keep them busy and keep them productive, keep them working. The, uh, I'm sure we've created some interest here today, Dan. I think it's a great product. I speak very highly of it because I experience it and we use it every single day and it enhances our mobile truck. Gary speaks very highly of it. He made some money off of it. Not even, he's made some on his paycheck and he's, he's uh, got a little spiff there for best idea. Tell us how we can get a hold of you or, or how our audience can get a hold of you and, and how long it takes to typically get on board with you. So it you know, all depends on the, on the dealership, how fast they want to onboard. Some do it that day, you know, as we, we do, I like to do an online consultation with everybody. So I shoot them a quick survey, about five, six questions, just to see where they're at right now. Uh, and after that, we, we do a quick web demo to make sure they understand all aspects of it. And they, they jump on board usually within a week or two. Uh, once it's approved at the front office, it's it's pretty fast. So you, can, you can visit our website at www.autoremotedirect.com. 
or you can reach us at 312-854-1112. We're always there to help. Perfect. How long does it take keys once we place an order on keys as well? We do, for sure. How long does it take to get them once we place that order? Uh, about about two days, about two business days. Perfect. Well, I think we're running out of time. I see Ted showing back up. Gene, the, uh, Gene it looks like he's stuck out in the jungle there somewhere. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Yeah, well, I want to thank you guys for being a part of the panel today. I think we've brought some valuable information to our dealers and our audience that's listening and watching. The, uh, so I appreciate you guys' participation. I want to thank Gary uh, for attending his first fix and speaking at his first Fix Stops Roundtable. Great job today, Gary. So appreciative to have you here. Very honored to have your automotive group here as part of what we're doing today, as well as two best practice winners from the Fix Stops Roundtables, the, the coach, Mike Vogel, uh, who has been the pioneer and helped founding this whole conference. So Michael, thank you so much. Great to see you again. Great to have you here. And Ed Roberts from, from Bozart. So a wonderful job as well. And, and Dan, you know, the technology, it, it's, it keeps getting better and it's more and more relevant than ever before. So, you know, great strides in, in the key industry and in what you're doing, you know, as a profit center for dealers. So congratulations on all the success that Auto Remote Direct ARD is having.